My name is Moniki Magaria and I am the host of the record-breaking, world record-breaking Foods of Kenya. <laughs> when I was in Form 2, um, I wanted to be a chef. Um, I was, it was not very really encouraging at the time because, you know, being a chef was like being a cook. My parents had a vision for me to be a, a businessman because um, my dad was in business and, you know, he was doing pretty well. Um, so, and I think it was a good thing that I actually pursued business in university because that gave me an idea of how to make th something work, you know, pro produce stuff, um, um, make a company work. So that's what I used to do. My first job was in cars. I loved cars. Oh, I love cars. I still love cars. So I was a direct imports manager. So I got to meet all the big um, guys who had money, you know. Then um, what happened, very natural, prog natural progression, they asked me to start organizing events. By the way, it was, it, was, it was a very interesting, there was a guy who used to organize the events for the company. He had done it for a while. Then when we were coming up towards a big, big event, and then his mother passed on. So he couldn't be there. So they asked him, who, hey, who's going to do this job? He said, I think Moniki can handle it. Just ask Moniki. He was my friend. So he, he opened the gap for me, basically. I did such a good job. They said, ah, this guy should be organizing all our events, including emceeing and all that kind of thing. But I got to meet a certain guy um, through a friend of mine. I was introduced to him by a friend of mine. I'm um, his chairman, actually. Um, I met uh, Patrick Kwaku. And I told him, boss, let's, let's, let's build Kenya. And um, I think at the time, uh, there's a guy called Mborogo Gekunda was working with him. I really saluted Borogo, and he said, let's give Kenya a try. So um, he commissioned a, a research. We went around the whole country and we saw, yeah, there's enough content to run. Let's start. As well as Matopo Show. Hey, the Eagles got done. It was a master stroke because um, just at that time, um, a big, uh, uh, there was a big turn, turn in, the, in, in the industry. Um, of course, do you remember there was a big fight between uh, the broadcasters and the government about free to air and what have you. So uh, um, the money was less and there was no money flowing because people are not being, the, 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 the advertisers were not advertising as much as they should have been advertising. So a lot of the uh, stations now started not wanting to pay as much and that kind of thing. And not, not wanting to, they couldn't pay much because the advertisers were not bringing in money. So um, my role now as a distributor basically died. It was very, it cut, was cut like kak. One station that we had a big deal, we had a, big, a deal of about 200, 220 million over two years deal. It just fell apart. They said, we can't afford it, we can't do it. And I'd put in so much effort and time into it. It was, it was heartbreaking. In fact, I had to go for counseling. I, it's for real, I had to go. It was crazy. Uh, at that point in time, I, I was not sure what to do next. I was trying to, I was struggling to keep the company afloat. It wasn't happening. Um, then this guy comes along, uh, Eugene Bogu, and tells me, hey, you guy, you've got a very nice personality. So you come and try and host this show. I told him, Psh, will you take my time? I was like, Psh, I played diva. He's going to take my time. You know, I was what I want to go in that direction. I'm trying to build my company again from, from the ashes. He told me, no, no, just try, just try. You never know. If you like it, you like it. So um, we did um, the, the pilot for Get in the Kitchen, and then I forgot about it. A whole year later, exactly a year later, he told me, Guy, we've gotten the deal. We're, we're, going to, we're, getting, we're, getting, we're getting on air. I told him, eh? So I told him, okay, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> so we did that for three and a half years. And, and then one day we sat with Eugene and he said, and, uh, he asked me, Moniki, why are we always doing international food? Why are we always doing cuisine from outside the country? We don't, we don't have any local, con local stuff. Well, there's some chefs we've tried, but uh, he said, "Yeah, we need to find out." So we just started thinking, how can we get, um, how can we get uh, content from local? How can we get food that is local? Fruits of Kenya. It's been quite exciting going around the whole country and capturing the different cuisine from different um, communities. I'm trying to, and trying to get in depth into their lifestyle, um, what they're. Um, grandparents or great grandparents used to cook and how they cooked. This is dangerous stuff, man. You have to take your place. You have to work hard, you have to keep at it, you have to be diligent, you have to be disciplined, but you must be motivated and you must be have passion. <laughs> <laughs>